Hi guys and welcome back to another plot review video. So we have another modern one here and this is a really big modern one. Uh, it's another plot by Scary Pranks. Now this is currently on the Kingdom Worlds, which is actually the medieval big ones. It was just before we switched over. Um, so at some point we need to transfer this one over to the uni plots, the slash warp u plots. Uh, so you might find it there um, by the time this video goes out. Uh, if not, it'll still be over here, but it will be getting moved shortly. So... These plots are huge, um, and Scary Pranks has built <laughs> like a city block, like a not like a, a city block as in like really really tall buildings, but like the kind of um, not really suburbsy bits, the bits that are just outside the city centre, which where you get like a mix between uh, commercial type buildings and that kind of stuff, uh, but still has like grid pattern of roads. Um, you can actually see this kind of stuff in Chicago, for example, or at least what I've seen of pictures of Chicago. Ugh, I can't even speak. Anyway, um, I don't even know where to begin, but um, yeah, it's really cool. I really like the roads. We've got nice roads going through, uh, using the dotted lines and stuff. We've also got the red kind of cobblestone that I've got, uh, or got in the pack, as like a sidewalk type texture, and then you walk up onto like another bit. So there's extended kind of like sidewalks here, which are upper or, or a bit higher. We've got these bits. So the first bit is this like American style house. Now we've already seen one of um, from Scary Pranks before. Uh, there's tons and tons of different vehicles as well on this plot. Uh, some of them are really, really cool. So we've got, we've got a car that's just you know coming in. So there we go. They've got their own like separate uh, garage house type thing. Pretty cool. I actually quite like that as well. Using the containers as like a door when mixing in with this blue. That actually works. That's really cool. I uh, got an apple tree as well. I really need to sort out those textures for the apple tree, but I will at some point. And like typical kind of wrap around uh, on this. Nice little detailed little seating area there. You know, some leaves that have fallen down. Um, nice back garden. I mean, it's going to be difficult for me to show all of this because there is so much. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Got the back garden. We got. Hey, look. Scary Pranks absolutely loves putting in like sports stuff, I think. So there we go. We've got some like hoops. There's a different hoop design. Over here we've got like a barbecue area. This is definitely like an American one because there's no way in the UK that it, this would ever have enough um, sunshine and there's too much rain. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a jacuzzi and we've got the main pool. Pretty cool. I like the, the double thing. And then we got... Wait a minute. Is this for... This is just a slide. Okay. That's supposed to be up. I got confused then. I was thinking that this was some sort of thing where you step up here and then you could actually jump into the pool. And I was thinking, that's dangerous, but... That's actually pretty cool as a slide. There you go, with some trap doors and some slabs. You can do that yourself. So we've got a tree swing. This house has pretty much got everything, um, let's be honest. So we'll just do this. I think we're just going to have to compartmentalize this and um, take my time and try and throw off as much as I can of this block. It's really cool. Um, and just try and get the good ideas from it, the best ideas from it. So let's go inside. We are going to skip for a little bit. We've got a dining room in here. Pretty cool recessed uh, area there. Um, I like that. Actually, like the use of table. So we've got that kind of table there. We've got a nice fire as well, probably with a guard on it. Um, now, did I miss anything down here? Mm, kind of, but no. We just go into this back room here. So down here, we've got like a sink area. And that goes to, to the washing area, and that go, goes down to there. So we've got like washing machines and things like that. And, oh, I like that. I really like that, how it goes around in the corner. That is cool. If you've, if you've only got a tiny little bit of space, definitely use this, guys. And now this has got snow on it. On, on top of the stairs, so it's basically a slab down using the court stair there, and it's got uh, snow and then a sign on the back of that. So, I mean, that's I'm not sure how many people can do that. You can do a word edit uh, or with um, Metacycler, for example, but really cool. I like that as like a compact area, brilliant. Then we've got over here, we've got a you know sink on this side, and yeah, nice simple kitchen, pretty good. Okay, and then if we go around here, that goes around to this front area like that. Um, colours are quite interesting as well. Really interesting. Now there is a couple of rooms around here. I was just about to miss them, I think. Uh, so this goes onto the front area there. We have some big doors and some more couches. But this is like the office. Um, I like these slabs there to make it look really slick. Cool. And then in here we got the bathroom. There we go. So we've got a nice little bathroom in here. With a mat thing. Towels? Towels. It's got to be towels. Or it's just a rug, you know. Maybe whatever. We okay, got that there, and what's in this room? Then we got here. We got a bedroom. So we got a downstairs bedroom, um, pretty big. But look at that for the wall. 
I like that design. I hardly ever use that block. I made it ages ago. Um, but it actually works really nicely here. Look at that. And then also, yeah, TV, big bed, really cool. And they have their own massive ensuite bath. Wow, that's cool for a sort of, uh, an actual corner bath. And I'm guessing that's a shower, like one of those big, um, I think they call them rainforest showers. Or s it's something like that. Also, sorry guys if I'm drinking all the way through this. It's just, um, I've got a coffee. Um, it keeps me alive though. Or hyper, whatever. <laughs> one of the two. So there we go. That's pretty cool for the downstairs area. Now, where were the stairs? I think they were over on this side. There we go. It's behind there. And there we go. Really good central stairs. Look at that. Actually, I really like that. It's really open. Like, this entire um, house is pretty much like one floor. Like, all oh, this downstairs bit. Like, the living room, dining room, and kitchen is actually all one. Really, it's one room. But this is actually split up really nicely. That's really well. Well done by um, Scary Pranks. Awesome. I like that. Okay, so in here we have another bedroom type thing. What is going on here? So we've got like a sitting area. And then the bed's actually up there. That's nuts. <laughs> That's cool, but it's nuts. Wow. I mean, that is different. I actually quite like that. And we've got some um, sunflowers in there. So that's pretty cool. Nice view of somebody's plot that they're constructing. And, you know, a simple, like, little screen there. I actually quite like that weird thing. Um, I'm guessing this is the outside. Is this the outside? No. Did I just find an empty room? <gasps> so much wasted space. Scary pranks. No. No. You lied. You used that block to lie to me. I was thinking that didn't look like it from the outside. Anyway, so that's a pretty good room. Um, if there was a door, I think I might have broken it. I don't think I did, but I don't know. We've got like a, a shower room here. If I did break it, by the way, sorry. <laughs> there we go. So we've got a shower room in here. That's that's perfect size wise. Um, what floor is that using? Block of emerald. That's actually a pretty cool carpet colour. Some beer fridges. Huh. See, I textured this and I don't even know. And I don't know what's going on with that with um, better foliage, but it's blue. Um, anyway, that's a really cool bed. I like this. Really cool bed using the like slick grey colour that we've got as well. And then we go big thing there. We've actually got a jukebox. That's pretty like pretty insane, really. There we go. So that's that room. So there is obviously some more room in this house that he hasn't utilised. Utilised. Oh God, I'm trying to sound even more British than usual. And failing somehow. There we go. So that's what we get for that house. Let's just have a fly around of that one. Still looks really cool. Ah, sorry guys, I'm still drinking stuff. There we go, and there's the back porch as well. But I quite like that, really cool. Now at the back I did notice this, like really crazy... I don't know what this is. Uh, uh, we've got like a market stand I'm guessing. There's like a market behind these houses, like a side street or something. So we've got some like sporting goods, we've got some flowers from Q Corp. What's he trying to say about quits there? I don't know. Ice cream. That's awesome. I like that. That's an, that's an ice cream truck thing. That's really cool. It's been like a modified design, but that is really awesome. I love that. I've got to make some like one of my own, I think. And try out my own one. There we go. We've got that. We've got some mats and stuff with heads. Don't really know what's going on with that. Uh, some weird board game type things. Maybe gambling stuff or just go, like about selling some board games. Uh, drugs. Drugs and cookies. Uh... <laughs> Possibly. And yeah, and then no no cars without except. Exception. Uh without exception, I'm guessing that means. And then over here we got a back of a like car park. So that's kinda cool. Now there are some pretty cool modern buildings here. These are the ones that we're gonna get onto next. I think we're just gonna sweep through, like go across this bit, and then across this bit, and then across that bit at the end. Or we'll end in IKEA or something. We'll try and end in IKEA. Yeah, so we'll do something um yeah, we'll do something. So, that's where the parking is for those back ones. Let's have a look at those vehicles, actually, quickly. So, what have we got? We've got a really good mix, and he's actually used a lot of them. It's also um, uh, credited everyone really well. Brum. Now, I wonder if anyone's actually going to know Brum, except for possibly me. It's got to be a British thing. Brum was like this weird British show with this car. I can't really remember it, to be honest. I, I grew up with it, but I can't really remember it. That's actually quite cool. That actually does look like one. That's actually quite funny. 
Looks like one of the old school cars. Awesome. There we go. Obscure reference there that I understood. Uh, so we've got some more cars around here. Did you see? Did you see ones? Uh, Scary Pranks is one there. With Scary Pranks in it as well. There we go. See, I do know your heads. I do know some people's heads in, on, on the server. Though some of them do change and then it confuses the hell out of me. So there we go. We've got that. Some nice parking at the back. Like ample parking. Loads, really. Uh, there'll probably be some or more stuff adjoined onto it because I can't imagine them needing that much. Right, number one. Now this design wise, really modern. Now you know, you guys know what I like. I, I think about modern stuff. It's not really my cup of tea. Um, to use a British phrase, but this I actually quite like. I like these this style of modern. I'm happy with because it's um, uh, weirdly I have seen it in real life, like these kind of uh, shapes and things, like really simple square type things, rather than the overly crazy floaty square things. Yeah, I really don't know anything about Ultramodern, so I'll shut up now. But I actually quite like the design of this, and I actually like the material use of that brick, the, the dark brick. So, house number one. Now, I'm wondering if these have been copy and pasted or if they're unique. Got a nice little stool, a nice little area here. Back area for a small dining room. That's actually quite nice. Apartment. Got just tons of beer and wine. We've got some sitting areas over here with a small TV. That's all you really need. And in the back, we've got a small bathroom area. And then that goes on to the back porch type area. Nice and simple. I actually really like this one. And then up here, what have we got? Up here we've got a pretty good bedroom. This is a good bedroom, like that, definitely. And nice little area here with some books, that's good. Small area here with a washing machine and also that is definitely supposed to be there, yep. And then in here we've got the master bed, uh, master uh, bathroom. So there we go, big bath there. We've got a shower rack. I quite like this, how it's seg separate, separated don't actually see that in actual houses, but that's actually pretty cool. And then this goes on to the, another bedroom. So I'm not too sure about the corridor-wise, because you'd have to then lock it if... If you're in this bathroom, right, if you're going for a bath or a shower, you then have to lock this person in their room. Which is crazy, but it does actually happen. I've seen it in um, a couple of houses actually happened. There we go. Nice grey fence. I haven't actually seen the fences. I've changed the wall texture. And I haven't seen all the fences yet. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but... There we go, that's number one. So what have we got for variation number two? I'm wondering if how different this one is. Whoa, different. Okay, cool. So it's actually laid out differently. That's really good. So what have we got? Another table, different design. Uh, we've got more of the couches. We've, I'm guessing those are like, you know, the, the recliners. That's just what I, I, it makes me think of, like that just sticking out and reclining. That's what I think anyway. There we go, that looks really cool. TV there. Um, weird orangey shelfy thing works though and then a kitchen in here there we go so they probably have like tv dinners again the back back area there oh no they don't have to have tv they got a table i just completely forgot about what i just saw still very cool there we go so we've got up here different layout and then here we've got like the um do we watch it washing machine we've got small office a couple of buying problems there unless that's meant to be like that and the bath uh, the bedroom's up here up here that's a bit crazy and then that goes on to... Well, that's weird. <laughs> oh, so that's the actual shower room, so you can actually go in there. So that's a big shower. I was thinking it was some like weird like staring... You know, you could stare through it. And you got the toilet over here. There we go, that's, that's cool. That totally works. So because this is a big one bed, um, that actually works. You know, you don't actually need to do... You can actually have it open like that, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so it's more of like a bachelor. Um, it just has like crazy parts or something. Really good to see that there's variation, though. And what have we got over here? Sale. This one's empty. <laughs> See, I've been meaning to do this in Lioness for ages now because <laughs> the interiors take so much time. I actually quite like this. This is actually a really good for sale house. It's clearly marked, right? Now, don't do this with every single house that you do in your city. But, look, for example, the bathroom is already done because they are always pre-done. All the like interior walls, the basic walls are done. Um, obviously the actual layout itself, uh, interior-wise, is done. Even the kitchen is pretty much done. But it's still for sale. I mean, that's actually one of the better ones that I've ever seen. Right, okay, let's just put that in. Why do these keep on disappearing? Is it just me? Am I just destroying blocks as I walk around? Oh, excellent. Um, anyway, number one, two, three, four, I think it is. Number four. Center here. There we go. So we've got another, like, tabley bit. we got another... Uh, thing with Bobby here, we've got the actual oven there. 
There you go. That's cool. Uh, now that this this thing here, this is a biome thingy that I'm I'm working on at the minute. So it should be that one, just in case people are wondering. It's in my test pack, I guess you would say. Uh, there we go. Big staircase up here. And that goes to, again, like a single bedroom type thing. And where's the bathroom? Wow, that's cool. So there's a the bathroom there. So this is actually that extension part. I really like this design. And that's really cool as well. There we go. So we've got that as well. There we go. So those those are designs. All different. I like that. I really like how, even though they're all the same on the exterior part of it, the interiors are different. That's awesome. Ah, more coffee needed. Okay, now we've got a dinky house. Oh, this, look at this dang dinky house. It's like a miniaturized one. That needs to be there. So, let's check this one out. Oh, this happens sometimes. Something will ding it. Anyway, let's go and... S oh, do we go in this way? Yeah, we do. So we've got a green car. Scary Pranks one. Uh, I'm still messing around with this green colour, uh, guys. Just in case you're wondering. Don't like it, for example. Um, need to play around with it a little bit. Uh, I want to know where he got that head from. Definitely want to know how where he got that head from. Which one is Scary Pranks? Please do message me with that head. If you remember. Um... So I wanted like a micro frame one, uh, micro wave one for ages. I was thinking of making one in the pack, but if I can just get one, it would work a lot easier. Uh, there we go. Simple little room in here. It's uh, you can kind of tell this is a lot more cramped, but it still works. There we go. And then there, and then we got the bathroom in here. There we go. Pretty big bathroom actually. There we go. That I mean it works. It's got all of the essential stuff that you need. And now let's check out the back. It's still got a little wraparound thing. So it's, it's Definitely, uh, Scary Pranks is definitely sticking to uh, the like, wraparound bits and pieces. Um, generally, here, I wouldn't use the brick just as a, a reference. I would actually use uh, just normal ones just, and just keep it going on. But that's just me. Or use a block uh, of this material. That's just what I do, though. Uh, there we go. So we've got a little table there. Nice little uh, tree as well. Very simple, but very cool. Now, we've got another little house. Okay. We got a weird driveway. I pr this probably wouldn't raise up and then lower down. Same thing I'd say. So that then lowers down into here. That's actually pretty cool. That he's done a angled car, like going down. That's that's actually really cool. I'm, I'm quite impressed with that. It's good. And then this one goes underneath here. And then this is another way through. So there we go. Let's have a look down here. But we will actually go around into the house like normal. I'm just I just wanted to look. Whoa, there's actually some stuff in here. This that's quite a fancy one. Again, was there a door? Or did I blow up the door? I don't know. Okay, anyway. Let's have a look at this. So we've got a nice like, house here. Simple little chairs there. There we go. I'm just getting... I'm just watching the doors now. Because I'm sure some of them are exploding. Um, it might be me hitting them. Um, really big and open. Wow. Table there. We've got a lounging area. Is this like an all-in-one type thing? This breakfast bar thing. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it's really weird, but it's kind of cool at the same time. I really like how it intersects with this. And, of course, in the pack uh, in Elding Modern, we've actually got uh, different types of snow. So we've got, like, wooden snow. Uh, I know that sounds a bit weird, but it's a biome version that gives you the spruce wood. That's really cool how he's actually used it and wrapped it around there. It looks really ultra modern-y. Uh, floating nice little sink piece. Pretty cool little thing in here. And what the hell's that? A rabbit. That's actually quite different. That is actually, it's realistic as well. I quite like that. Okay, so then this goes down into here, and there we go. So we've got the bathroom in there, and got the bedroom in there. So there we go. That's all we need to know. That area goes out to the front. That's the front garden. There we go. Let's fire around that house. There we go. Nice simple little one. I'm trying to just speed it up a teeny tiny bit. So sorry, Scary Pranks, if I'm missing anything. It's just to make it, make sure that we're getting everything. Now there is a little gap in there. There's always a little thing that I paint. I can't see anything down. There's no secrets there. So it's a mistake. <laughs> Alright, so what we've got over here, we've got a big, big house. We have some water around it. There's some. I'm guessing those would be like fountains. Again, really cool idea. There's some really good ideas in this. And there we go. This is more of a, a house that I like. There we go. Different using the red as well. And actually, the roof style um, is, is pretty unique. Using like, you know... Stair. Wait, what's going on? Slab, stair. Slab, stair, slab, stair. Instead of just using, like, slabs, for example. Uh, to go up. 
is actually pretty different. I'm going to have to drink more. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we've flown around that. So, here's the driveway off just off this road. Cool, trash. Um, what's this thing? Possibly where you type your bike? I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, there we go, we got that. Let's go... Now, is there anything on the outside that we need to see? I think that's just... Let's just have a quick scan. So, we've got uh, Lorna. Nice and simple. We've got... Now, is this a bouncy... Um, a trampoline? This would be a trampoline, wouldn't it? So, I quite like the trampolines that are, like, up more. In the UK, we don't... Well, I haven't seen them, okay? There's probably going to be some person that goes, We have got those, Daka. Um, obviously not with our voice, but... <laughs> I was going to say that, yeah, we we have them. But usually the ones in the UK are always raised up, like a couple, you know, like one block in Minecraft would be. Uh, there we go. In the back area, look at that. That's a really fancy stove and all that kind of stuff. There we go. Right, now we've done that. We can jump inside. Have a quick tour. So there we go. Nice front porch. What have we got in here? Oh, I like that. I really like this style. Look at that. That looks awesome. Really cool. I like these. I like the use that scope has been using of those. Weird fire thing. But still works. <laughs> Fancy desk. This this person's got some money, definitely. They've got some real money. I like the different use of wall materials as well. So we've got like grey over there. Um, got some more whites on this side and like using the browns and things. And then you've got blue. Uh, that looks really good. And then over here we've got the dining table. And we've got a couple of little seats in there. Bar. We've got you know, a little cooking area there, and this style I really like. That actually works really well. Um, some a mega fridge, <laughs> some wine, and in here is that for changing a baby? Maybe. I don't know. I'll go with that. And then we've got the garage in here. There we go. That's TDC car. Sorry, I thought I said TGC. Sorry, Dutch creeper. Sorry. Anyway, there's the, the wheel thing. Um, so that's being worked on. Cool. And like stuff, it's got Zaris fuel. Everybody needs Zaris fuel, obviously. But I'm pretty sure it's an energy drink. <laughs> yeah, at least uh, <laughs> I always think of Zaris fuel as being like an energy drink. Anyway, let's keep on going. So, what do we have? Yep, around here. Man cave, do not enter. Excellent, I will enter this. I like that style though. It's like kind of hidden, but it's not hidden at the same time. Ooh, so that's using um, maps of like just eternal darkness, obviously. And also, um, yeah, item frames. Just going around that. Actually, that's kind of cool. I mean, it will create a ton of lag. It's not too bad for me at the minute. There hasn't been too many item frames. Got like a bar thing down here. Drops down loads and you can actually just fall into that gap and die. Um, TV. Darts. No, that's fine. That's actually all right with darts. There you go. And there's like the little bar thing in here. And do not enter. Oh, dear. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> It's actually found a use for this block. I hate that block, but uh, that works fine. Really cool though. <laughs> right, I'm gonna I'm gonna close up the man cave. Oops, there we go. I'm just clicking, clicking, clicking. Don't wanna click that. No, go away. Right. Really cool bathroom. This actually looks like one of my bathrooms just to the amount of blue. For some reason all my bathrooms are blue. I don't know. Uh, I think that's just what I think all bathrooms are like, even though they're not. Um Okay, so let's head around and go upstairs. Actually, did we? Yeah, we did. There we go. Wow, look at this. Really cool, fancy corridors. What have we got in here? Bathroom again. There we go, bathroom. Cool. Looks good. Wow, this is a nice bedroom. Really big. Grand. Look at that. That's cool. Tiny little window at the end, though. <laughs> but that's fine. There we go. That's so what we've got over here. Another bedroom. Pretty cool, and they've got this is definitely the gamer of them. It's got its like control thing, it's got its GameCube. Everybody has GameCubes in Minecraft, everybody does. And a walk in wardrobe as well, fancy. Then over here, what we've got a little cupboard underneath there, like a sitting area. And then off that, we've got a walk in wardrobe that then goes onto an ensuite that has a pretty mega bed and bucket, bricks. Uh, some sort of curry powder and a bottle. I really need to update some of those pictures, but I mean, that could be all like the stuff that you can use and things. And then this goes upstairs. 
to the bedroom. That's really cool. Like the actual overlook type thing. It's really fancy. As well. Oh, that's good. I really like this. This is a really good house. Um, what the room even? Did I just see an Uzi? I did see an Uzi, didn't I? I'm like going nuts. Okay, there we go. So that's that one. Right, guys, that's one third done. But I think it'll be a little bit quicker because houses typically take a little bit longer to go through because there's always just tons of detail and personality. That's the first three. So what we'll do is we'll go across this way and then we'll go across that way and we'll finish with IKEA because we can, I guess. Ah, there we go. Gotta love this stuff. Right, okay, so what have we got over here? We've got foster coffee. Work, drink. I need to come up with a better thing. If anybody can get up with a better slogan for that, please do comment. It needs to be small though, like really small, like probably five letters. Um otherwise you can't really read it. So this is the little coffee shop. Nice and simple. Like you've got the nice little seats, you've got normal seats as well. And the coffee is all around here. Pretty good. That's all you really need. Works, definitely. So there you go, you got the foster. And what the hell is this thing? A uh, small football pitch thing. Ah, cool. So you got that. I think what I'll do... Let's go around this whole block. Let's just go around this bit as well. So a little water, f water feature here with a like a bit that goes over it. And we've got McDougal's on the back of this building. I didn't even notice that, so it's good that I came out here. Different types of tables as well. So showing off that um, Scopranks knows how to do different types of tables. It's really good on a plot. Definitely. There we go. We've got the McDougal's here. Let me take your order. Go. McDougal's. Nice and simple. It's not the best Mc McDougal's, uh, which is obviously McDonald's, because you usually hide. In, in McDonald's, you usually hide what's be what, what how it's being cooked. I know it sounds bad, but that's that is what they do, isn't it? You know, they hide it behind a wall. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's still good. What the hell's that thing? DB. Okay. Now this is tattoo Bob. Tattoo Bob. No, not Bob, but. You know, Bob. Nice modern feature there. Really like that. Car park as well. Tons of arrows to tell you which way to go. And how do we actually get into this? I think you have to walk through this bit. I've never seen the, like a tattoo parlor thing. So this is quite good in Minecraft, I think. So we've got some like waiting areas here. We've got the actual desky thing. Then you go in here and... Is that just a normal desk or is that where you actually tattoo in? So this is like a line down one, maybe. This is a sitting one, or, or a lying down one. Oh, they've all got chairs, maybe. Uh, no, it's all on, like you're lying down. I know nothing about tattoos, I haven't got any. There we go, got like a chair as well. So, I mean, there's a lot of people working at Tattoo Bob. Like, a ton of people. And then there's staff only in here. Nice little area in that. And a little toilet. So, pretty simple, but good. Cool. Tattoo Bob, guys. I actually quite like the colour theme as well. I think that works. Like, um,. Red, white, and black, and obviously the wood kind of works like a reddish uh, colour to that one. So that actually works really well for it. Now we've got some like weird seat things around here. So we've got some seating. So what is this one? Mega Market, just buy it all. So here we've got some like places where there'd be trolley bays. I guess obviously we've got more cars. There's so many cars around. There's like a Jack Thunder car there. Um, now how do we get into the Mini Mart? I think it's on the other side. Look at that. Or Mega Mart, even. It actually kind of looks like one. So that's quite good. And there we go. We've got the uh, shopping trolleys in there. Simple ones. I've seen this design before, but it actually works really well. There we go. So in here, we've got... Let's pick a scanner. Oh, so that's like this one thing. I've actually seen people go around with those now. Um, it's really weird. Still not really used to it where I live in the UK. Um, the scanner thing where you scan your own things and pay it. I, I don't I don't even get it. Um, there we go, we've got some pretty cool uh, checkouts here. It's using tyres, but actually that works. We need to animate them at some point. There we go, we've got some like shelves. There's loads of stuff on shelves. Shelves, shelves, shelves. Pretty typical, and we've got some frozen foods as well. More frozen foods. Do not enter. Boys only, I want to enter. I, I'm just I'm going to have to break through. Um, I did notice this little block here. I'm fixing that. <laughs> got some cakes and things here. Yeah, so that's the bakery part of it. Uh, some more stuff there. I mean, this is pretty, you know, simple. Anybody can really do the, these bits, like with the shelves and things, and make it a little bit interesting. Now, in here, obviously, is where I'm I'm interested in. So, what have we got in here? Oh, we can actually get through that bit. Oops. There we go. But those are supposed to be like the doors that um, flap. Oh, yep. 
That's what happens. This really is weird when you use shaders. It just like completely blinds you. There we go. So we've got stuff on shelves in the back. And frozen stuff is also in there. So we've got some an actual um, lorry car thing actually unloading. We've got some of the bins at the front as well. Pretty simple, but really works. And it's also got its own dedicated car park, which is always useful. So what have we got over here? I realise that the order's gone a bit weird, but we'll we'll go over to the church in a bit. I think we'll just do them section by section. So this is a gigantic flower, so I'm guessing it's a flower shop. This is actually using in LD Modern the uh, Mesa and Savannah biomes to get the different coloured wall, uh, not wall, clay. And it actually looks really good. I'm, I have completely forget about those. I don't even use them for building, but Scary Pranks does, which is good. And we've got tons of flowers and stuff. Looks perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's absolutely fine. I like it. Simple, but effective, that. Um, so there we go, we've got that. And, right, so there we go, we've got that unloading. Let's go over to the church over here. There we go. So, what have we got over at the church? We've got... Uh, oh, it's like an outside wedding ceremony place. I was wondering what this is, and as soon as I stood here and looked down and saw the benches and the like carpet and the notepad for signing something, I just went, oh yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Actually, even these chairs using the... Why don't I think about that? That's so simple to make a tiny little chair. Brilliant. And benches. So that's where you can actually get married. Uh, if you want to get married outside. Pretty good church. This is a very American style church. And actually, I haven't seen one in LD Modern. So this is actually the first one I've seen. And it actually looks good, to be honest. Nice and simple. Ooh, nice little lightning glitch there. Let's just hit that with a rock. Uh, and then we got some like gravestones out on, on the outside part here. Uh, there will be a new block that you'll be able to use for this as well. For the actual gravestones. It's coming out soon. Ish. Just not yet. Not yet. Little football peeled, uh, field as well. Not peeled. And then what the hell is this? This is... A cafe? Ah, it could be like a feed the homeless type thing. I sent a... Definitely. Because you do have those. Uh, the church does, does actually do quite a lot of good. Um... Yeah, so that could be one of those. We've got some like little cars around here. Got some like Zaris ones. Oh, obviously, they love this type of little car. And we've got like a, a double decker bus, like a pretty London one, really. Quite small, but. Oh, wow. Didn't even realise I'm getting dragged up. <laughs> and they're pulling whatever it is, that thing. It's like the marriage thing. So that's quite. This is really good. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, God. Okay, so here we go. Nice little simple church. Nothing really too much to it. I would have put, um, and this is just some nice little feedback. Definitely would have put oh, the simplest thing that you ever can. One of them. Definitely. And obviously, like, do it with, like, wood or something. I don't know. Um, but I think that would have added in some detail. Obviously, it can always be changed, and you guys might say that you're nuts and... You shouldn't put a cross in the church, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know who would say that. So there we go. Just put in a little church. A uh, little church, a little cross. I'll take that off. There we go. So that's what I would have done anyway, just on that bit. It just uh, adds a little bit more detail. But there we go. We've got a little stand up here. A uh, con congression stand, I think they're called. And in the back, whoa, this is actually like a fully like modern church, isn't it? And they've even got a TV, old school TV. And an iPhone as well. Like toilety, bathroomy place. I got their own pad. No door. Now, that isn't me. I didn't break that door. I didn't see it before. Nice little bed and mic. Wow, this is like a pretty modern church. Still pretty cool, though. Cool. There we go. So that's the church. And we've got up here. I probably would have done like a bell or something. I know it's kind of difficult in, in early modern. I haven't really got anything yet. But there we go. We've got that part there. So we're going to move over onto this. Now, that is definitely a bowling alley. That's just a bowling ball. It's really good. And we've got animal carrier. Probably some pigs. That's pretty cool as well. That's one by TJC. That's cool. Wicked. I didn't know TJC actually did one of those. Okay, so there we go. We've got a car park as well. Normal kind of car park. And what's this say over here? There we go. We've got the bowling alley sign thing on the side. And bowling alley there. Yeah. Just throw a block down. <laughs> so, oh, this looks cool. See, this one is at the edge of the plot, so it's been like cut off. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter. That doesn't actually matter at all. So look at this. So we've got like the bar type area here. Um, hopefully they haven't done what I've forgotten. And where's the area for shoes? And I think they have actually done it because they probably watched my video and, and forgotten. 
Now that's a bit crazy, isn't it? But that's going all the way down there. Oh. Ah. It's actually using the, the snow layer. That's kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. So you can actually like do, you know, like that, for example. And it'll go down. Ah, look, there's a little system, guys. Um, ask Scary Pranks if you want to check it out. Anyway, let's see how he's done it. To, to see how many pins you can knock down. Pretty cool. I like this as well. The stripey bit. Um, this as well. It's all it's all pretty cool. It's like really downhill. That's the only thing I would say about it. Whereas um, at least the ones that I've I've played at are always like well they're not flat. They look flat, but they're not. They're like a little bit going down. So look at the machines. Ah, okay, that's where you get the shoes. Okay, so you can get the shoes from the back. And the toilet. Okay, so that's where you would actually get them from. Wait, is the men's bigger than the women's? No, it's not. It's the same size. <laughs> okay. And then in the back, you've got the machines. There you go. That's kind of cool. You've got the actual track. So it's a slightly different way of doing it, but actually is absolutely fine. So there you go. Another different way of doing the machines. And what the hell is this stuff? It does look rather random. I don't know. I think that's Quits that put that down. It does, Scary Pranks. I'm sorry. It just looks just completely spammed. But, you know, pretty cool. There we go. Nice little roof there. Nice use of materials. And I like this bit with the metal and, and stuff. So that is cool. There we go. Got a nice 45 degree vehicle as well. Like a van or something. I don't think it's my van. It's a slightly different one. That's good. At least people are actually trying to do them now. There we go. Okay, so next. Petrol station. We've got an ATM. Works perfect. And we've got petrol station type fuel. What I should actually do, I think, is the little sign maybe turn into something else. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. They've got ATMs here, so you can actually pay at the pump. That's good. That's something that's coming in uh, quite often. I actually quite like this. How they're, they're just, Oh, not on the side. Can I see on the side? I like this, how it's got the little sign on it every so often. Like, on all those bits. Huh. Cool. And then what we've got? Soda machine. That's a mega soda machine. <laughs> There we go, so we've got that. That's really good. Got some toilets. Simple. And what we've got in the back? More toilets. Oh, there you go. Got the mirror effect. I should have really known. I should have just turned around and seen that. So you've got, like, drink and stuff. Now, this is something you can't do in the UK anymore. You can't buy alcohol at a petrol station anymore. Uh, they stopped it because it would... Obviously, if you're driving, right, on the road, like, in the middle of nowhere, and then you get an alcohol, you're probably going to be drink driving. So it's actually something that will that, that, that stop it. I don't know if it's... I think it's still a thing in America. I think you stay over to in America. Um, but you can't in the UK, for example. So there you go. Fun fact. The government banned it. <laughs> there we go. Really cool. Simple. But good. I like the uh, sky, sky thing, Majiggy. Right, we've got Ikea next. Look at that horrible yellow van. I don't mean that horrible as in like the actual style of it. Actually, I like that top bit. Um... It's just so yellow. It's just so yellow. I just don't like yellow, I don't think. But there we go. We've got a yellow van. The IKEA colours, perfect. Tacky blue and tacky yellow. <laughs> but you can tell that it's an IKEA, like, straight off. Even if it didn't have the massive IKEA sign. Here's the entrance. We've got loads of stuff here. We've got some TV stands. We've got some coloured things. We've got some men's toilets that you can buy, obviously. Uh, you've got some women's toilets that you can buy. Not really, but, um, got those. Now, what else we got? There we go. It's got some more like, cabinets. I mean, this is pretty cool. Got the actual tills in here. Got like a nice little. I like these. I love these. I'm I'm thinking about doing these for like Aldi Modern and just getting loads of people involved in making stuff. But really cool. Now in the let me in. In here we got the actual uh, loading bay up here. There we go. We got some stuff loading back down. Q Corp. Why is it all Q Corp? Actually, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because of the colours. Ha. Huh. Q Corp is IKEA. There you go. Now I could have known. You've got the restaurant part in here where you get all the meatballs. Just tons of meatballs. Just thousands. And there we go. You got some <laughs> Yantler and some Coca Cola. <laughs> I love that. I don't know if you can get sued by for like saying the real ones like in Minecraft and, and doing the logos, but that's why I do it. You got the upstairs part of it there as well. The actual thing. Just just because people are like, uh, why do you do like McDougals or? Uh, QFC, and th that's literally the reason. It's just in case they decide to sue me. As they can't. Oh, you got a little shopping trolley. You got some beds. You got some more cabinets. You got some chairs. This is actually really cool. And look at that bathrooms. I love this. I love this kind of stuff. IKEA's and, and things like that, like in Minecraft anyway, because uh, it shows off so many different ideas. 
It's actually a really good place just to store general things. Did I just pick something up randomly? Maybe. I don't know. Um, anyway, just like more beds. And look at that. That's really cool. I really like this design. So I just love like stuff like this. Ikea type stuff. Uh, not Ikea in general. I don't really care about Ikea in general. But um, the actual part of it, the Minecraft part of it, is really good. Anyway, this was a gigantic plot by Scary Pranks. Really well done. Um, it's just got so much like variation in it, and it's done really well. Yeah, guys, just um, post your comments and tell me what uh, you guys think as well, so that Scary Pranks can improve. I'm sure that um, they would appreciate that lots. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you would like, do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.